Hey guys, how you doing? Alright, I got a very interesting story for you. Uh, this woman was found dead in a Walmart parking lot. Supposedly she had been there for three months inside her vehicle. Her name was Lauren uh, Jesse Moss, 22, found dead in car in Selena's Walmart parking lot. But the body had been there uh, for three months. So, whatever kind of security you see, however many police officers you see coming and going, how do you not notice that there's been a vehicle there for three months straight? Not to mention, there's probably a really bad odor coming from the vehicle. Oh yes, this is all true. This is not made up. Uh, this is coming from... Do, do, do. Is it actually coming from AOL News? Uh, I forget who's doing this one. It probably won't tell me if it's Reuters or who, but... Just last week, a deceased body was found inside a Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, of the lady I mentioned. I have two sources on this. One from KSBW, one from AOL. Uh, this was in California. And the, the identified person was Lauren Jesse Moss, a 22-year-old who disappeared in mid-November. So, however much you think those cameras are helping keeping people alive and people going to and from their vehicle, I'd love to know how bad of a situation it was that in California, this lady could be dead in a parking lot for three months and Nobody noticed the same vehicle in the same parking spot there for three months. I mean, that kind of just shows you that the police there probably aren't doing the quality of the job they should be. I know it's not their job to do that, but, you know, reasonable suspicion would say you look over the video of everything and you go, hmm, that car's been there for hmm, a week now. Why? Let's go find out. Okay. Knock on it, find out, see somebody in there, or not, you know, and you kind of go from there. So, this is absolutely true, this is not a conspiracy theory or anything. Uh, so, authorities believe she committed suicide, supposedly, they supposedly found a suicide letter via her uh, sister. Written by Lauren and supposedly a syringe found in the vehicle. Uh, so, anyways, it doesn't matter whether or not there was a, a darkened window and a sunshade, but this was an, enough to have visible suspicion of the situation to find out what's going on, and not only did the security guards in Walmart, if they have any, do anything or didn't do anything, some Walmarts do have security guards, I've seen it down in Florida and stuff, it's not just tech, uh, it's not just Target, um, but the police should have known, hey, that vehicle's been here a long time, I wonder why we need to investigate, okay, you know, there's I mean, I, I'm all good for this facial recognition software and this software to detect all the weird things, you know, especially if a vehicle's been there for like a week straight in the same parking lot in the same, you know, exact spot the same way. There's a reason to, you know, knock on the door and, you know, check the license plate, contact the next of kin, find out what's going on, and then open the door. So... This is what's going on. I'll show you what I got here. So here it is here, coming from AOL. She was in a Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, missing from, you know, for three months. Uh, it's coming from Fox News via the KSBW source. Body of a 22-year-old found at Walmart. May have been there for months. So, seeing the first thing to that, or November 13th, I'm sorry.
So, this is all true. And she's actually quite attractive, so I'm kind of surprised nobody really, you know, was missing her. I mean, gone for three months. Suicide, now no suicide. Kind of weird that, you know, all these tracking chips they got on everybody and all the vehicles and stuff, and they can't tell that a single vehicle has been in place for up to a week in the same spot without moving in a business jurisdiction or a commercial jurisdiction to send out squad cars and find out why. I mean, we're paying all this money for the advanced tech in the world, and the it seems like the technology is moving faster than the enforcement laws. And they should have definitely been able to respond to this within a week or two. And I blame the technology, not the officers. But you guys get the idea. Thank you.